What's up, guys? What's going on? I wasn't gonna vlog today, but I brought my camera to do some other shit, and now I'm vlogging. So, just turned up at Cats. Just left extra butter, as a matter of fact. Got a whole bunch of stuff down here. Chilling. Uh, picked up a pair of shoes for my friend, and uh, now it's time to eat. Let me turn this bitch around. So do me a favor, take a take look at $40 out of so I can just give her a tip. Um, like, at this point, I'm giving her a $10 tip because I'm tired of this shit. Take, take another one out. Another one? Yeah. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, I'll I, I don't want to stand here anymore. <laughs> You guys mind if I just squeeze by you? Sorry. You want one? Yeah, no, it's 40 bucks. You gotta take your tip, that's good. I'll give you 40 for 33.90. Happy holidays, guys. Thank you very much. That's why I get annoyed, man. Fucking three dudes standing there fucking blocking the whole register. Uh, just leaving cats. It's like a two hour fucking lunch. Gonna go shoot this review of Dan's Bespoke uh, whenever he comes outside. Did some shopping at Extra Butter today. Pick some things up. We Jordan 1s, um, J passes, silver bullets, a goblet. Hey, there he is. I'm here. Oh, you're here? We're here. There he is. That's the guy. Uh, so Dan went and did a bespoke. Let's go check it out. I kind of want that bag. That bag is dope. How big is that fucking thing? It's, uh, it's just like a travel bag, so you can put mad clothes in here. Is there a laptop compartment too? Yeah, there is a laptop compartment in there. The bike's ready too. It's like, you get the fuck back. go rig today it's actually pretty warm out here it's not bad at all it's uh it's pretty amazing out i'm not gonna lie patchwork action Yee. i'm here what's in the bag what's in the bag I'm here uh water we'll see momentarily delicious. <laughs> cat's delicious water big dan up in this bitch I absolutely uh, we oh, are fucking here. we here a nice little envelope if you guys haven't done this book yet hold it like that then we're gonna go through all of our materials and so they give you the envelope obviously they probably saw your reviews but they give you the rendering which never does the shoe any justice but it still kind of explains it give you all your different swashes this one i flipped i think that was playmaker leather i think most of it was playmaker art maker i didn't i didn't use any nap on i think i'm gonna use nap on the inside and there's this of course so this is the whole layout of the shoe, basically. They, you can't read it because it's written in script for some strange reason, but they give you all the layout of the shoe. You can read a breakdown. Oh, I don't care. Nobody's going to do nothing to me. <laughs> yeah. So they give you your, your vamp, your mud guard, your air bubble. Everything is described, and then you get the materials right next to it, so they tell you what the material is next to each piece. Quarter panel. So, pretty dope. Yeah, look at the shoe. It's, uh, yeah it's, it's, it's pretty cool because you learn... In the experience you learn about like 
different. Like, I didn't know what the fuck a foxing was. You know what I mean? Until, yeah. I, until I did this. I, what I wanted to do is I wanted to do a Walking Dead shoe. I'm a big uh, Walking Dead fanatic, so that was my whole goal with, goal with the shoe. But I wanted it to be able to be like likable by people who weren't fans of the show. So I didn't want to go too crazy, even though I did end up going crazy. But unfortunately, when you start trying to do like an homage to something, like especially like a show where you have mm -hmm. so many different, you wind up using a lot of different materials, and you got to be careful because if you don't if you don't pick your colors right, and it can get kind of crazy, and then your shoe winds up looking insane and. It's like almost unwearable. I didn't want that to be the case. So you got your mud guard. Yeah, it's like, uh, to me, for a zombie skin, it was like the perfect material. And what I did was I used that Playmaker logo, but I inverted it to the suede side of it. So it's like a two-tone, like, I guess, you know, like this is like the rotting like flesh. Skin, this is, yeah. yeah. You got like a two-tone zombie skin, I guess. If you're thinking of a rotting corpse, I guess that's what it would be. Um, and I transitioned into the blood here. And I went with two-tone on the blood. Because you got, like, fresh blood and then, like, kind of, like, coagulated. And then the stitching is more fresh blood again. So you're still getting hits of the fresh blood in with the, with the, with the fresh blood where it's starting to turn. Scab up or whatever to run to the skin. And then as you transition up into here, uh, this is the, what do they call this? The mid panel? Mid panel. Mid panel. I went with a denim, a black denim, like, uh, distressed. And I inverted it on the inside, so it's like the outside, outside and inside. It's supposed to be like a uh, representative of Daryl, his vest he wears a lot. So you got like, if he was riding or whatever, that'd be the outside and this would be the inside of it. So I did it like that to switch it up. Um, transition into a swoosh. The swoosh I went with a red cork to represent like a bat, like Lucille. And I of course wrapped it in 3M, so that would be like the barbed wire. It was like the best thing I could think of doing to kind of like involve Lucille in the whole thing. So very good representation. Yeah, it's the corp. The other corp, the regular corp, didn't look as good mm -hmm. to me as if like a bat. This looked a little bit better. It was it was the best 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 scheme we could come up with. Um, but it, you know, it looks all right. And then the, up here, this is the foxing, right? Mm -hmm. The foxing I went with this like felt kind of like I don't know what it is. It's like a felt, I guess. And this is like Rick wears that uh, that Sherling mm -hmm. that's like dirty and filthy all the time. So this kind of looks like the, the Sherling material a little bit, like kind of dirty, dirty Sherling, I guess. And uh, when you flip to the back, I was able to get them to engrave into this leather that I use this leather kind of like as an ode to like Carl's hat. Uh, and then also it kind of looks like a door. So you have Don't Open Dead Inside, like the scene from the, movie, from the, the main pick, the title, whatever you want to call it. I put the baseball stitching to represent Michonne's uh, thing that she wears, cloak or whatever that thing that mm -hmm. she wears. She has like the X's in it, so I did that. Um, flip it back over. I was able to do the tongue in a ballistic mesh, and I did that for Glenn um, when he had the when they had the prison and he was dressed up in the in the armor, the the riot gear. Yeah, he was wearing the riot gear, and then also I did the, the tongue loop. In like a backpack material, and I did that as she's always, Glenn always had the backpack for the first five seasons or whatever it was. <clears throat> On the tongues, I did the word air and apocalypse, for you know, obviously why I would do it, and then uh, a couple small things. I did the lace tips in silver for for Rick's for the gun. I also did the air bubbles in silver for the gun. Uh, we did. Shout out to Shiva over here with the tiger print. If you're gonna have a tiger on your show, somebody should shout the tiger out. So we did. <laughs> um, inside, this is where it got a little crazy. I went with a yellow. This might have been Napa leather. A yellow Napa leather to represent like the sun, because here I have in the footbed I did that Liberty of London print with the flowers, and that's a shout out. You gotta be a big fan of the show to know to Carol. Where she has to put the little girl down and she tells her to look at the flowers and everything's gonna be okay, the sun's out. She's like, just look at the flowers, look at the flowers. So that's the whole point of the inside is to look at the flowers, basically. Uh, outside, I did a, a glow in the dark soul because why not? I mean, it's a zombie shoe anyway, and then plus glow in the dark souls are just fire. dope. Yeah, they're <laughs> fire no matter what you did. Blood speckle on the midsole. Um, 
again, you know, more zombie theme, nothing specific. I did a I did a playmaker leather in here just for comfort, black, just on the inside, just for comfort, comfortability. Um, they gave me an extra set of red laces with the black tips, just to have an extra set. I guess I didn't really, I didn't really have any specific things for the for the extra set of laces that I wanted to do, so I just went that way with it. And I think I think that's everything, right? I was gonna go to the stash of it, but I have too many bags and I'm fucking tired. So vlog is about to end in the in the Uber as usual. I did pick up some shoes, so I'll show you guys what I grabbed. Uh, a little later on when I get home, and yeah. Oh, it's just mail? Yeah, just mail. <laughs> the hell is this? Really? So, just walked in the door. Uh, I'm gonna review these shits. I'm gonna try and get some reviews done tonight, as a matter of fact, but I'm just gonna do a little, a little sneaky peeky. A little sneaky peeky. Oh, I'm just, just do this right here. Do that right in there. Chillin. Next up, pick up for one of the boys. Oh. And no, I don't have kids. J Paz, here's your shoe, buddy. And last but not least, let's get this out of here. Oh my god, come on. Last but not least, chillin. Hell yeah, I had to pick these up. Oh, I didn't do these yesterday either, so. Tell it how to pick these up. All right. Oh yeah. Also, I got the Gremlins tea. Bought the Gremlin tea, Gizmo, Gremlini, and I bought the Chalice of Love. Whatever you guys saw. Well, it was on the Instagram story. Chilling. Oh, dope. Super dope. Extra butter killed it. I always like their accessories. Do a good job of accessorizing my life. <laughs> Right, let's get this edited. <laughs>